Hi guys, if you want to know what I do in a day when I go to work, I filmed it for you, I showed you my classroom, I showed you my files, I can't show you the kids, those are the best part of my days, but it is what it is. If you're interested to know what I do in a day, please keep watching. Hi everyone and thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel again. My name is Medea, as you know, and I'm going to show you one of the days that I work during the week. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today, I came here early just because I wanted to um, clean up, you know, whatever I have right now. As you guys can see, a lot of the things that I have in my class, including uh, posters, the stuff that I want, kids, um, binders and all that jazz is already ready for them so I don't really have to just worry about it all I need to do is just to put you know papers or anything they might need on their desks and um, get my uh, get the rest of the things ready um, and get it ready for them so when they come in actually they don't have to um, you know worry about getting their stuff and all that so in our school uh, well this is my class as you can see but but in our school because of covid we changed how the things are around here and one of them is that the children don't go to the other classes or anymore um they basically we move from class to class so what i usually do actually what i saw a yeah what I saw one of the girls in TikTok is doing and I thought it would be a great idea is to put to divide this part into you know separate sections and once we do that uh, don't mind my gloves I just wash my hands I don't want to you know touch things oh, with bare hands the ones are here. okay yeah so they she, uh, divided this Zero. part of the board as you can see I have like three different parts of the board it's pretty large pretty uh, like I get a good space for you know writing things down. So she divided this and she used this as lesson plan How cool is that? I try to find her name again. I think her name was Miss Little Rose. Yes, that's what her name was and she's just amazing. She's also a teacher I don't know if she's still a teacher, but yeah, I got this idea from her So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just divide this and you know create like a nice area and yeah so let me just quickly show you what I have in there. They gave me this at the beginning of the year, which I think very, very, um, it's very, very helpful. This year I teach grade one and two. I used to teach grade four to eight, so I didn't really need this, but this one, look, it says M, like large M with the two lines and the tiny line in the, in the middle and then small letters, and then it says mirror with a picture. So whenever they don't know the letter, usually they mess up some, um, I just refer them to this. Usually what they do, they write P in the other direction, or sometimes they make the, the biggest, the biggest thing sometimes they do is that they put D instead of B and P instead of D. But yeah, so this is a, you know, cool feature. And then on here, we have like the plans that we made. Over here, this is what I put over the wall, uh, sorry, the door. And then these are for COVID. I'm just gonna open this. Uh, not super you know clean but here is what I'm what I'm doing I put the English books these books with these tiny little lines I store them here for them whenever somebody needs them they can go through it they can get it this is I did some activities with them last week um, it includes some clays um, which I think they really really loved we make letters with them we make words with them I also did some uh, like these beads they have letters on them and they make words with them and I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna make bracelets with them with like letters and stuff and these are like threads or what do we call these um, um yeah like crafty stuff cuttings. yeah and so these ones um, I actually stayed here for you know until like um, pretty late the other day and then I made you know different tests any tests that I give them I just store them here and I have to know where each one goes those are some examples the next one is occasions and Christmas so for example for Christmas we give them some copyable things for um, let me actually show you this one like Christmas sentences they can make or Valentine when it's Valentine 
the whole school is decorated and they can use this copy or uh, this one. This is kindergarten. There's like huge stuff about, you know, phonics or, you know, with pictures, which I find really, uh, they really like, even though they're level is higher. Don't mind the bottom one. I always keep putting these right here. So there's that one more, that's for grade two. And this is the phonics book. Usually I just clean everything, but then they move it because pretty cool so sometimes it just thinks the best. These are also like some extra. So yeah. And these are the binders. I don't want to show any names. This one is where I keep all of my possible things. Like for example if I want to work on story elements with them. If I want to do a little Shakespeare with them, I know it's too early for them to do these things, but these are like fun stuff, like word search, like who he was, and you know, just for them to practice writing with a theme. This is, uh, again, extra things, make sentences, vocabulary, match pictures to words, grammar for grade one, grammar for grade two, punctuation, verbs, grammar paragraph, antonyms, all that. So these are extra things and these are word search. I really love word search, so I always keep, you know, a bunch of examples there, so in case if I need to do it. Also, we made these things with them once. Uh, it was supposed to be like a little word search. Well, it's not, but it's fine. Sorry, I'm weak. I have to wear a mask when the kids are around, so I, they're outside, but I just don't risk it. And yeah. Um, what else? Oh, and every morning when before the uh, before the alarm goes off for nine o'clock, we have to go outside and basically sing this. I'll show it to you in a second. It's Can Old Canada. Let me actually turn it around. Here, this school provided us with this, so we just put it on here. This is from their art class, by the way. I love that. They're so talented, so I just keep it here. We go outside by their lockers and then they read O Canada. I used to put some rules in here, don't no running, you know, you know, be kind, be nice, those things on here. But they usually come in, they sit down, they put their books back there. Um, I did not get to really design my class this year just because it might change because of COVID and we might and in case we do, I keep everything, you know, nice and clean anywhere that I want or anywhere that I know if I want to go back to, I can find it easily. But yeah, other than that. Um, hopefully COVID is gone and we don't really have to deal with this anymore. Um, we get through it, um, you know, in a nice, nice way. And yeah, that's it. Oh, let me also show you what I keep with me. These are stickers. We got a, lot, a bunch of little copies that I give them beside their books that I give them always. I usually keep this one here. All my books and materials are here in this one. I do have some copies and on this one also, this one also, uh, I got a binder and then inside it, I'll show you when it's all done, it's not done yet. Um, I just put some, you know, like the, the course outline, what am I gonna do with them? What am I gonna do with, you know, each week? Maybe one day I'll just show all these students for grade two, for example. What am I doing each day with them? A bunch of other stuff, the name of the parents, their emails, this I always keep here because I want to copy and do some activity with them. This comes really, really handy, especially for grade one and two. Who wants to do phonics? If you want to do phonics, I can do phonics. No. 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 Let's go. Good job, Alina. Esther. Come on.
Because it is cold, I can wear it. Yes. Yes. I watched the movie, and it says the um, knowledge is the key to everything. <laughs> dressed up well I'm I wore my jacket because I'm taking the kids outside uh, the weather is good so they want us to take them out to get um, some fresh air oh, I'm not even dressing up properly what is happening thank you so much for sticking with me I I'm so glad that I showed you my uh, classroom. I know it's pretty basic. I haven't done a lot of things due to COVID. We have to be online, we have to be here, online here, like personal learning. So it was a tough year, but I'm pretty sure that we can, um, you know, get over it very soon. And then I can just get, hi. <laughs> and then I can get, um, and then I can design my uh, class as I want to. Um, so yeah, um, that's it. I think I showed you a bunch of things. Yeah, I'm uh, happy that I showed you where I go every day, where this is basically my life right now. And um, yeah, I'm very glad that I could show you the things that I wanted to. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I see you guys later.